Today we are going to look at duplicating a page in Divi and then we'll be able to use that template to build out other pages and it'll bring in all of our uh, margins and padding and all this kind of stuff. So it'll really save a lot of time. Welcome to an optimized Divi slash WordPress tutorial. And in today's video, like I said, we're going to be going over how to replicate this page. Uh, so this client here can build out the rest of his other services pages without having to pay us to do it. So this is uh, tutorials for our clients, but also anybody that is just getting going with Divi, you should find value in this and hopefully it'll save you some time as you are working on your own site. But let's get right into it. So here's the page I made. It's a very simple page, but you know, my client is not familiar with Divi yet and he can always add on to this and customize it as he wishes over time. But so I have this all built out. It's, you know, looks very presentable. We just have one image at the top with a headline, um, a little important blurb here. And then we have our headers in here in bold and stuff like that. So they stick out uh, text about what this page is about, a little call to action, a little uh, authoritative seal right here contact form quick details and that's really all it is all there is to it and we brought in the footer that this goes throughout the rest of this website so that's what it is and then I'll show you on a tablet view we have it spaced out really nice for tablet everything was adjusted and the same thing for mobile so this is why this is just a great way to do this and really speed up time that you don't have to play around with all these little individual settings on every single page so that's that. All you need to do is come down to right here and click uh, the little down arrow right there. We're going to say service page template and I'll save it to my library. And that's really all there is to that. So now what we'll do is we'll come, we'll make a new page. So right here, you could also click right there, but either way, I'll get you the same thing Add a new page. So when this pulls up, I will make another page and we'll call this one, okay, we'll call it fertilization and weed control. So this will be our uh, page title. It'll be our slug down here. So it hasn't pulled in yet, but so let's go ahead and there to get it. Nope, okay, let's just go ahead and we'll save this draft. That's something you want to do with Divi is just save the draft, put your title, save the draft, and then it'll kind of just cement it in somewhat. And I've just had glitches if you don't do this first. So it's saved. There we go. And that pulled in right there. So what we're going to want to do is the parent page. We want the parent page to be the master services. So I have test was the first page. So I need to change that to lawn mowing since that's what that page is. But services is going to be the master so that's important right there we'll save that and then i will go ahead and use the divi builder to complete the process here so to do that let's click use the divi builder right here and it'll bring up the front end divi editor which is what i want it'll prompt me to use this right here so we could have just cloned the existing page but saved it to the library usually do that so saved layouts and we will grab the services page template so right here services page template so we'll pull this in and then i will show you what you need to do from here okay so what you want to do is you can literally just click in here like you're editing a word doc um, what I'd recommend is when you're changing this to whatever you're going to change it to, say we're going to change this to fertilization and weed control, leave one letter on there so, it'll, so it doesn't eliminate the styling and everything. So fertilization and weed control, and then I'll delete that last letter. Okay, then yeah, this is kind of like a headline up here, so we'll just... We'll make it um, capitals for the first letters. Okay, 
Uh, so in here, you can just click in here and edit just the same way to change all this kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to change that, that could kind of stay the same. This could stay on every page. The contact form could stay the same. Then you'd want to change this. So if you notice, as I hover, hover over different things, these little options pop up. So Divi operates like this. You have sections. So the section is this big blue one. Then you have rows, which is the green color. And then you have your modules, which are this color. There's one more option, which is specialty and this is actually a specialty section right here and it just gives you more layout options so to show you real quick if we just go to regular then you have all these different layout options so that's kind of showing you the areas on the page that you'll have to put your different elements so that's uh you know very simply how it works and then let's say we pick you know say we pick three then it's going to give us three modules and then you can pick from all the different modules right here so say you have this so we could add a new module underneath this by clicking the plus button and then anywhere you go you can always add onto uh, this specialty section you could add a regular section another specialty section a full width section whatever you want to do so that's basically how it works um, yeah, so to do the basic stuff, it's very simple. It just gets a little complicated getting everything just so that first time. So that that's seriously how easy it is. So we'll go ahead and say publish this. Okay, so since you are more than likely you know somewhat unfamiliar with everything, so you can just click in here and start editing. You'll see that you have these different options up here. They're kind of self-explanatory. You can just click on them and see what they do. But you know, bold, italic, underline. Uh, this is going to be like centering your text. Um, this is a link. So these are quotes. Um, you know, the different h tags. If you want to do that, so different kind of stuff like that. Change the color of the font. You'd want to highlight it and then change the color of the font. So that's how that works. But if you hover and if you notice, since I'm clicked in this, the little thing will not pop up. You need to click off and then it'll pop up. So just you know, just click off anywhere off to the side or anything like that. And if you pull this up, then you'll notice you have like the same thing you see right here, right here, and you have many more options. Maybe this is the easier way to do it. Uh, one thing to note is this bar is pinned to the side because this button was clicked right here. So if you take this out, you'll actually see a more realistic view of how the spacing and everything is going to work because when it's over there, it pushes it on this website it did not really affect it at all but on other websites with other designs it will so you don't want to be making your padding and um, your padding and your margins and stuff like that when it's over here because it's not going to actually be the true display and then another thing is you want to double check on other browsers like I'm in Chrome you'd want to check an Internet Explorer you want to check on a tablet you want to check on a phone so you want to double check everything because sometimes Divi doesn't display exactly as it's going to show in real life so that's just something to note so every module will have uh, the main content stuff you're gonna find like your content as far as text uh, the images if there was an image option it'd be in here um, you'd want to use like an image model module typically for an image but you can actually get images in here by adding media but we're not going to go into all this you can change your background the color you can use a gradient you can use a picture you can use a video and the admin labels just strictly for your use to know what that is if you're say looking in wireframe mode which is this right here so this is kind of how the back end of Divi looks and it's just basically everything you have on your page but you're just seeing it in block form you can still get in and get to all the settings and all that so that's right down here another good thing that I recently started using is the zoom out feature it actually really spe speeds up the process of playing with the spacing and stuff when it just shrinks down like this so it's just a matter of hitting that button so there's lots of things uh, you can you know really dive into Divi it's really awesome in design you're gonna find all your different styling and etc 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 your animations filters and then advanced is where if you wanted to give it a CSS class or ID you can add custom CSS right in here if you wanted to um, if that this was an image this is where you would put the alt tag Divi does not pull in alt tags from your media library so you need to put them in here 
it'll say, I forget exactly what it says, but you'll see it and it'll say alt tag when you open up the drop down. If you want to disable any of these on any of the screen sizes, because they just won't display properly on a certain screen size, you can do that here. So that's it. Uh, don't really worry about this. That's getting a little more involved. So that's basically how it works. So we have this done and saved. So I'll click on edit page right here. So we're still on that fertilization and we, we control page, but, and it, it does have the parent page of services that just doesn't show right here for some reason, but that, that is in fact, or intact. Uh, so this recently just changed, so I'm still kind of getting uh, familiar with this, but what you'll want to do is set a featured image right here. Um, you just literally click the button, pick one out of your media library, add a new one. Don't worry about experts or excerpts. Um, don't worry about this. I mean, you might want to allow comments if it was a blog post, but this is a web page. So that, that is good. You're typically going to want to use the, the default template. The other option is, ooh, there's lots of options in here because this site actually has some kind of crazy stuff going on on it that's not implemented yet. But blank page is typically the only other option, and you could pick that and it'll remove the, the top menu and the bottom footer. So just be like more of a splash landing page if you wanted to utilize that. So that's basically everything you need to know over there. Here is your Yoast. So you're going to want to set a focus keyword. And for this, it would be fertilization and weed control, which, you know, it's saying uh, not, not a green. It's on a red, orange, green light system. So it's not green because the content on that page is all about mowing so I just changed the headline at the top so that's why uh, but you'll want to do that you edit your snippet right here so this is what's going to display in Google so right now it says like that so we'll just say you know uh, maybe you say weed control and fertilization service right there you notice here's the another red so we're in red so we need to take some of this out of here let's get rid of the, that and say eco friendly something like that your meta description you'd want to type in just a little call to action um, basically you want to entice people to click on your listing over the other listings here try to include words that they'll be typing into the search bar and stuff like that it'll google will make those words bold in your meta and your uh, seo title if they actually type that in to the search bar you know you may want to put a city name up here you may want to list some city names down here consider using numbers people's eyes are drawn to numbers so if that makes sense go ahead and use it and then here's your schema if you wanted to you know really get going on some seo uh, we have local business schema set for the whole site, so there's no need to do this on every page. But this is a service, so you get to the service section and then fill out all this information. So, you know, if you do a little research, you can figure out what exactly they want in all these fields. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but that is the majority of that. And one thing I forgot is this is the other page, but um, so right here. This image right here is 1920 by 450. So when you bring in images to make your headers for the other ones, if you want to keep the same style, do 1920 by 450. If you just wanted it to kind of come to right here, up and down where the kind of the content ends, it would be a smaller file size, it would load faster. So maybe that would be a good idea. Then just make it 1280 by 450 or however tall you want and that'll be that you'll probably have to play with some of the, the spacing settings you see this has a lot of padding on it because this image is actually a background image so that is that and yeah so i think that basically goes over how to do that and since this is actually called this page is actually called test if you notice it i actually did change the slug up here so services slash lawn mowing you want to structure your site like this so quiet lawns the the home page so then he has his services page which you would get to from right here and you would want to also um 
then that's why you want lawn mowing after that. So since you have this master services page, you don't want it to be quietlawn.com slash lawn mowing. It should go in order because lawn mowing is under the services category. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let's go into one more thing that you'll need to know here, and that is gonna be the menus. So we're on the menus page, so it's on the top menu. So if you notice here, uh, FAQs, CR reviews, call us. So if we go to the top menu, there's where it is. I gave it the name top menu, so yours may not be called top menu, but that makes a lot of sense to me. So that's why I call my top menu. But I wanna actually add this page to the primary menu, so I'm gonna click on that and say select. So it'll just bring up primary menu on the screen. So services gallery about us, contact us. Serv services gallery about us, contact us. So that's how that's working right there. And now we have <coughs> uh, fertilization and test is what we wanna add. So let's add these to the menu. And what we're gonna wanna do is drag them over one notch. So then it'll be a drop down so boom drop it and let's make this a little shorter we'll call it lawn treatments just because that's going to get a little long to be in our menu and we'll change this one to lawn mowing and let's put the mowing first because that's typically uh you basically want to order these in you know the first service you want second service you want so you can rearrange these however you want but once you have it how you want it we're going to click save menu uh, thing to note is this right here i have this set to primary menu my top bar is or top menu is set to the secondary menu so that's where they display that's what divi calls them or wordpress calls them either one then you could uh, also have a footer menu you just need to create a new menu and make a footer and then that would display right down here above your bottom bar. So that's how that works. And we'll save that. And then I will show you it live on this page. Here it is. You have the drop down with the different options right here. So I need to, uh, this is like some additional CSS that we added. I just need to add a little spacing in between that line and everything, especially down here. It just really doesn't look good. So I will do that, but that has nothing to do with uh, you know, duplicating the page or anything like that. Uh, if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. We will be putting out a lot more uh, beginner content because we are building out videos for our clients that are you know potentially not familiar with Divi. That's why they had us build the website. So we we will be making a handful of you know more advanced videos and stuff like that. We certainly. Um, do it ourselves but the majority of our content will be at a beginner level so our clients can work on their sites without having to constantly contact us and pay us to do it until the next video